Hey there YouTube. Alright, so it's me again. It's time once again for another exciting installment of X-Ray Education. And just in case you're wondering, today we're going to be doing some chest work. We're going to be taking a look at some different um, methods of doing chest X-rays. You know, the usual PA and lateral. But uh, something that we're going to be working on today, we're going to really concentrate on, is our decubitus chest work. Now, for those of you that don't know, uh, decubitus simply means that we're going to have a central ray that's going to be going horizontally across the table. Our patient is going to be recumbent on the table, and there are several different methods we can use. Um, you could just have your patient laying flat on their back. You know, that would just be referred to as a dorsal recumbent decubitus view. And that can come in handy. You know, if you've got a patient that can't sit up for whatever reason, um, you know, you can just shoot their chest x-ray lateral with them just laying flat on their back. And it works fine, provided you take a few precautions in advance. You know, make sure that the posterior anatomy doesn't get clipped off. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, and something we're going to be doing today is testing um, the angulation. As you know, whenever you're doing chest x-rays, when you're doing AP chest, like stretcher chest, wheelchair chest, whatever, you're supposed to have the central ray going perpendicular to the sternum. Now, you might be wondering, well, how in the world are you going to show the central ray going perpendicular or different angles? It's not going to be a problem. Because I happen to have this little jewel. Now, I can't hold this thing up very long because it is exceptionally heavy. Um, I think this thing weighs about 50 pounds, so for one arm and, and one supporting arm, it's quite a load. So I'm going to go ahead and put this joker down before I drop it. And then of course we have our other anthropomorphic phantom that we're going to be using. So for right now, um, I'm just going to go and talk to my students for a second, and then we'll be back in a few minutes and we'll show you a demonstration of how to set up some of these x-rays. All right, thanks a lot. Hold on. So for her, she can roll. She can put right under her. So we're going to put it under her thorax, and that way everything's on the same plane. Does that make sense? We want her mid-sagittal plane to be parallel to the table, so that way fluids won't run down to the apices or down to the top of the angles. And then she's going to get her tube. So meanwhile, while she's getting her patient in this position, it's, been, it's going to be about five minutes or so while she's setting up the two, set, getting it all set up, getting the cassette. It's probably not a bucky in there. I mean, a there's no, no bucky. Mm -hmm. We're going to do, we're okay. going to use the cross table. Oh, right. So you're going to need to use that film holder. Exactly. The point of it all is. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so, meanwhile, the pa like when we go into our patients' rooms, we usually um, position it backwards. Okay, so now we've got the tube oriented correctly. We're pointing straight across the patient. Yes, yes we are. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. 
what you can do is just move the table back as far as it will go. Like I said, I mean, the thing is, like, we're not looking at a heart here, but it does also reduce the magnification for fluid level so we can get everything on there. And you should be able to get a good 60 inches here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 70 inches. That, that works. All right, so now this is where, for, we just have to make sure that we're centered in the satchel. So we can ask them to touch, like, their sternum. We can come up and palpate their sternum. We just tell them we're going to do it, so that way they'll look All right. <laughs> What's an anatomical structure that is guaranteed to be midline that we can see from across the room? Your jugular The patient's oh, neck. <laughs> The patient's neck is in line with their spine. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Blake. <laughs> you win that argument. <laughs> like, you can see that, especially so you can just see the Z's. And so we can also build their fur up. Because their body, whenever somebody's laying on their side, you know, their tissue is going to be drawn down by gravity. So their midline is going to be thrown completely. Yep. You, you can't use a lot of anterior anatomy anymore. Exactly. Because gravity. But their spine's not going to move. Yep. You know. Unless they've got serious issues. <laughs> well, I got the middle of her neck. All right. And so now I need to call it. Yeah, we definitely don't want light on the wall. And that'd be things like if you see light on the wall, because sometimes you're afraid to call me. That's understandable, especially for a decubitus in patients or you. But at least you don't want light yeah. on the wall because there's That's no cassette on the wall. If there's light on the wall, then your collimation is open too much. Exactly. So you definitely, so I don't see any light, so you can see just a shadow, so I think that's okay. okay. So one more thing you want to make sure is you get your patient's arms up. Both arms up? Mm-hmm. Okay. There now you go. Now you can go. actually see. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> when you, um, where you, you can see like right here, you can see how you have when you. Right? Ooh, this is good. So what side is down? Right. So what side is this? Left. All right, so we'll put the left okay, here. So or anatomically, we could put the right one on the right side. But do you gotcha. see now how difficult that may be? We call it a right lateral decubitus, but we mark it on the left. Gotcha. Marking the side up is way easier. Good. But the answer is you always have mark it. You, mark, you can mark it anatomical. Because this is anatomical. We just chose not to use the right one. Okay. You think and so what do you think? I, I would probably open up the like light. That. All right. I think that looks. What do you think about that? Like it went off, what do you think off about the down there? Line when I lift their arms up. What do you think about that down there at the bottom? Cut no Mm-hmm. So maybe I go down some. Once I do. So think about this. Are you happy with the top of your center? Your I think your I think this is good. The top of your board is at the top of the shoulder. So that makes sense. Yes. Is your central ray in relationship mid mid here? Move this. No. So do you move your centering point down to match the mid? You don't have far to go. Went way too far. Way too fast. I look center. What do you think, Mr. Lake? Mm. Well, okay. Patient's jugular notch, hands breadth below. Um, the other thing you can do is you can feel for the patient's scapula and find where that is. Um, I think that's okay. Mm -hmm. I, just, I know that the light, is the light down there now over here? Oh yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh. Yeah, it is. So do you see the light? When you look light, light didn't look right. That's why I looked at it. And so I was like, okay, what's next? So if you get this set up first, if you know that you want an inch and a half above the shoulders, then you can just follow it to midline. Okay. Now the light matches up here. The light matches up here. You got the marker up here. And you have some space up here. You have light on the sponge down there. Yes. A right. little bit of light. Yep. So now you can imagine, where is her right side fluid? Is it down or on the table or is it up under the mediastinum? Fluid is down. Fluid is down. 
How about her left fluid? Are we looking at the left fluid here? Left 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 left. Yeah. From the right to the left ear. Mm -hmm. Yep. Did that make sense with my, my cleaning supplies last week? So <laughs> yes. suspected fluid goes down, suspected air goes up. Yep. Right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that way you can see next, uh, a different view for next week. All right. So mm -hmm. like going down this way. Okay. So we've got a... <laughs> We got a very, very cooperative patient today laying on our sponge. Yeah, you get up it if you can, but if it's like right at your neck, you're good. Mm -hmm. And it's mm -hmm. you see how doubling your patient, um, your pillow really helps for patient care. And then if you can free like doubling up your patient. <laughs> yep, doubling up patient. But the, doubling up for uh, the pillow. Call it. We don't want pancake pillows. Because it's hard not to, it's hard to like, because you're focusing on the centering, but you're in your pants. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Okay, so up and down, we're basically on the same level as the patient's neck. I can see your red laser light there on her forehead. Yeah. That's good. Hopefully that's not burning her eyes. It's just one eye. <laughs> 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 but, um, what do you think? That right? Oh yeah, that's good. And don't worry, I'm not going to get you on this image. Um, you can probably comb down some, um, like side to side, because you've got a lot of the cushion. And this is a this is a small patient. And you see all that light down there? You could put your marker anywhere in there. Well, that works. Um, so most um, patients that are hypersenic that have a lot of tissue, you would probably definitely mm -hmm. have here, but you have plenty of viewable light here. So I can't see from here. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Ms. Billy? I think that looks pretty good. I mean, except for the only thing is, like, you could you could narrow your collimation down. See how you're, um, you've got like a lot of the there we go. down a little bit more there you go that's good that's good we're we just got like a piece of the pillow okay. which means that you know the diverging ray is going to catch all of her lungs yep we're centered top to bottom side to side i think you're good to go yep. and you've got about as much sid as we can get given the limitations of our equipment Oh, your, I can do this. You're back as far as you can get, and you've got the table pushed over as far as it'll go? Nope. Not yet. She's Push the table over. Okay, so that gives you probably another 10 inches or more yeah, of SID. So now let's go and revisit our light field one more time. Um, that, yeah. So now we can actually see more of the bottom. Yeah, of that looks a lot better that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so now you can call it some You're going to get everything on there for sure.
Okay. All right, decubitus chest. Now the only thing is, and this is just a little quibble, and it's something that you'll pick up on as you go along, but we all do this. Come to the head of the table. Okay, see how she is rolled back against that image receptor? Mm -hmm. So her body is going to be, this, this image, whenever we take it, that thing's going to be pretty significantly rotated. It might not be a showstopper. You know, it, it may not be worthy of repeat. However, if we can get our patient to kind of, can you scoot back just a little ways? <laughs> All right. All right, that's a little bit better. Now, um, Okay, so patient is, all right, let me get your arm up overhead like you had it before. Um, just do uh, what I call a hip check. If her hips are lined up on top of each other, then her lower body is going to be perpendicular. And if her shoulders are on top of each other, then her upper body is going to be perpendicular to the table I'm talking about. And so then we'll have minimal rotation, right? It's hard to get it perfect, but we're going to get as close as we can. So that looks a little better. Do you think, Ms. Amanda? Yes. This is one of the things you stand at the end and you're like... Yeah. Any breathing instructions? I was going to get back because it moved up a little bit. All right. You ready to breathe in? Uh, breathe in big. Hold. Click, click. And relax. I'm just going to show you, like, if you didn't have her shoulder, you could certainly just put uh, your elbows in like this. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. Do you see how, like, that's comfortable for patients, but do you see how that could be in the, way. in the way? Mm -hmm. And then also for patients, she's fine, really, but if, if you're, uh, put your arms back up, and will you look at her chin? <laughs> Sorry. And then if you try. You see how our chin's... You your know? chin's not in my image, is it? Nope, but if you were concerned about that, because sometimes they, they could be, short necks or whatever, you can just get her to raise her chin up. You see how that could be out of it? Short necks? Short necks. I got short necks. She's out of it. 